Welcome to the channel everyone, I'm Indy and I'm here to give you some games that you might want to take a look at. 2020 was a great year for indie games and 2021 is shaping up to be even better. This list is a prime example of the great content coming our way. So let's dive right in and see what's coming. At number 5 we have Grime by developer Cloverbyte. Grime is a fast and unforgiving action adventure RPG with an absolutely stunning look along with brutal combat. With a unique skill tree and epic boss fights it's easy to see why Grime is attracting attention. I definitely love the living weapons and how they can mutate during combat. Fans of gruesome combat should find this to their liking as well. Don't sleep on this indie game or you could get blindsided by a centipede whip. Grime is set to release on PC this year with other platforms being announced at a later date. At number 4 we have Flynn Son of Crimson by developer studio Thunder Horse. Flynn Son of Crimson is a fast paced 2D action platformer that has been on my list for quite some time and hopefully we will see it this year. You will explore a wonderful world formed with handcrafted pixel art. Reveal secrets, trade with villagers, and battle fierce monsters as Flynn, a young man who was orphaned as a child. A few things stand out for me here with its colorful pixel art and beautiful backdrops. I also have to mention Flynn's loyal companion Dex, who can be called upon in times of need. Flynn, Son of Crimson is set to release on Steam sometime in 2021. Coming in at number 3 is Death Trash by single developer Crafting Legends. Death Trash is set in a post-apocalyptic open world filled with grotesque things, horror, and black humor. The brutality and gruesome scenes might not be for everyone, but this appears to be an impressive feat by one individual. And let's be honest, pixel horror is just, it hits different. This is another game that has found its way on many of my lists and I'm very hopeful to finally get my hands on it this year. Seriously, give me a shotgun already and let me cleanse this gritty land of all its horrible beings. Death Trash is set to release on the PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC with early access coming this year. At number 2 we have Sable by developer Shedworks. Sable is an open world game of forgotten mysteries. Explore, solve puzzles, meet other characters, and drive around on your hover bike in one of the most gorgeous looking games I've ever seen. I can't say enough about how excited I am for Sable. The art style is absolutely what caught my attention, but I've loved everything I've heard about the gameplay so far. If this isn't on your list of games to play, then put it down right now. As for me, I will patiently wait to explore the desert while listening to what promises to be a delightful soundtrack. Sable will release on Xbox One and PC sometime in 2021. At number one, we have Kenna, Bridge of Spirits by developer Ember Lab. Kenna is a story-driven action-adventure game that quite frankly took us all by surprise. Showcased along with the PS5, Kenna, Bridge of Spirits delighted everyone with its beautiful look and adorable characters. 
I remember pretty much everyone talking about this game after it was shown. Some of the combat looks to be inspired by games like Horizon Zero Dawn and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I can't wait to dive in, explore, build my team, and fight the corrupt spirits. This game shouldn't catch anyone by surprise now, and that's why it's a must play in 2021. Kenna Bridge of Spirits is set to release in March 2021 on the PS4, PS5, and PC. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Keep an eye out for my indie games that might surprise us in 2021 coming soon at the PlayStationBras.com. And as always, in the opera.